Hey everyone and welcome back to Sydney Trains Vlogs. I'm currently at Central just doing the usual uh, monthly Central Station upgrade update. Just going to do a pretty well all-rounded one now. Uh, I'm going to uh, show and have a talk about the new entrance to Central Station on Chalmers Street and uh, then go through the Central Walk. Uh, and do a few other bits and pieces. Today is Friday the 16th of June, 2023. The new entrance, the Chalmers Street entrance to Central Station in the Central Walk still remains in darkness as they continue to demolish the RC Henderson building, uh, the RC Henderson Hat Factory, which uh, sadly pretty well burnt to the ground um, a few weeks back, to which we'll go around and have a bit of a look now. They've, uh, demolished probably you know a good a good 90% of the building now not too much to go um, I just noticed as I walked past the new entrance that there was actually a worker in there um, so I guess they're allowed back in uh, as I passed the site of the RC Henderson building uh, sort of on the bus yesterday um, as I was passing it on Elizabeth Street um, I did notice that there was quite a large, a large uh, pile of bricks uh, on the roof of the new entrance. Uh, so I suppose that once the Henderson building is demolished completely, uh, they'll be able to get up there, clean that up, um, and then properly assess the uh, damage done to the new entrance. Uh, so what we're doing now before we head into Central Station is we're just going to head up to um, up towards the Henderson building here on Randall Street, even though you won't be able to see much, but sorry, right, just cross the road. Well, you're not going to be able to see much at all. It's pitch black. <laughs> oh dear. Um, sorry, it's a little bit sniffly today. The weather's changed considerably. So, well, you can you can see the phone's picking it up pretty good. Um, there's not too <laughs> not too much of the building left. Um, just here, just this little bit. Uh, yeah. So it's going to be sort of a, a bit of a clean up. And uh, quite a few repairs needed to uh, surrounding buildings, I guess. But anyway, let's, let's head down into Central Station. I did see a photo yesterday um, of, of a Sydney Metro... Uh, information screen or information kiosk uh, so we're gonna have a quick look to see if that's uncovered um, or if it was just one of those things where it was just uncovered for like 15 minutes and then let's put the camera down wait for the couple of screws loose Yeah, over the last couple of mornings, the temperature is uh, the temperature. Sorry, let me start that again. <laughs> the temperature over the last few mornings has dropped considerably. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Oh dear. Okay. Um, so we're gonna head down here. Look through the central walk. I want to see if that Sydney Metro information kiosk or screen, whatever, is um is still uncovered. Once 
one thing I noticed the other day is uh, this spot for a new sign here. Hopefully they're not actually going to hang a sign on that because it's just going to block out these screens here. With respect, it would just be a stupid place to put it. Um, I've got one of those customer service attendants booth just here where they can I'll just keep an eye on things really. But yeah, hopefully they don't put a sign there. It's, I think it's up on platform, oh, I don't know, 18 and 19, um, down the Redfern end. You stand in the uh, in, a, in a certain part of it, and you'll notice that um, that the uh, oh, I'll get it together, Phil. It, you can't see the screen because I think uh, one of the new signs for a lift is in the way. <clears throat> if I remember, I'll I'll show you in a minute. Even though it's easy enough to just walk up, you know, 50 feet and <laughs> you'll be able to see it, but still it's a funny place for it. We'll also head up to platforms 20 and 21, just to have a bit of a, I don't know, a pan of the upstairs platforms. I'll have a pan of the upstairs platforms so that, um, we can see how the tiling work is going. Walking quicker than me. It's all right. Sorry, I just have to pop the camera down every now and again. You can't avoid getting people on camera, but I can try and avoid throwing it in their faces. <laughs> Ooh, um. Unless that photo of the Sydney Metro information kiosk was actually a photo from another station explaining what's under these bits that were covered up here. And I'm just making an idiot of myself again. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, we all know what the central walk here looks like, so we'll just continue along. No, it's not on that side. There's actually one thing I didn't show you all uh, before that I personally found kind of cool. It's just up here a bit. Just the camera down. I'm not sure if these little spots here are just like for electricals or escalator motor rooms, I don't know. Um, but I was just picturing the other day, it would actually be quite cool if there was, you know, like a little shop or something there. Not like a hot food shop, just like a little, like another Easy Mart, kind of like a little convenience store. So I must have been imagining things <laughs> with that kiosk. <clears throat> right, I'll show you something up here. This is little, little thing. <laughs> there is writing on it, so I'll do a scroll through of that in a minute.
Okay. Now, I am going to go over to the railway colonnade, but I'll do that at the very end of the video because I'm actually going to go get a coffee soon. Um, from, I'll oh, consider I've got to go through a Devonshire tunnel. Um, I'll get it from Subway Snacks. All right, I did a video before of the uh, bit you can see of the track bed here. Oh, actually, no, I'm gonna go do it now. Oh, right. I'll show you. See if there's any different, if any of there. My goodness. <laughs> On the roll, man. Any difference? But I don't think that they're going to be putting any tracks through here anytime soon. I'm going to go over here to have a look over the um, upgraded area and also get a thumbnail shot. Which was actually going to be that kiosk screen. The imaginary kiosk screen that I can't find. <laughs> Super cool. Apologies for the sniffling. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm heading back through the central walk. Via this way. Then we'll head up to platform 20 and 21. As that may be the least busy of the upstairs platforms at this stage. show you up on 18 and 19 where I was talking about that lift sign, wasn't I? I'm going to do the crappy thing and I'll backtrack. <laughs> backtrack. I'll do that in a minute. Oh. Timing's bad. It's a train coming into platform. Uh, what am I? 21. There's nothing in 20 for 10 minutes, so that's all right. But there is a train arriving in to 21 at the moment, I believe. Yeah. That's all right. We can have a bit of a look at the tiling work on 16 to... 19. So all up this end of 
all the platforms are done, so that's the Redfern end. Uh, there's just been a little bit of a, a gap on a couple of the, couple of the platforms. Um, the next train to arrive just up here a bit. goes to City Circle via Museum. First stop, Museum, then St. James, Circular Quay, Wynyard and Town Hall. At about the third quarter of the platform, sort of closest to the Town Hall end. So 16, 17, 18, 19 both have this little gap uh, where the tiling work hasn't been done. Platforms 20 and 21 are complete with the tile work. Right, now those trains off. Right, looking over at 22 and 23, there is a little part that hasn't been done uh, at the Redfern end and also a bit here um, closer to the town hall end. But yeah, 20 and 21 have been complete. That's probably the I don't know, easiest of the platforms to do. We'll head up to 18 and 19 just briefly um, to see if I can show you what I was talking about with that sign. bit of a pain uh, sometimes. Going this way, aren't we? Might have to face the phone down at, at the steps going up here. Because 18 and 19 are genu generally very busy. <laughs> I haven't had my coffee yet. parts that are still blocked off at the Redfern ends of all the platforms pretty much I think um, there's actually new seating going where the staircase was heading down to a different tunnel uh, which has all been filled in uh, this is pretty much what I'm talking about it's not as bad as I made it out to be but um, it can be a bit of a pain I think it's a bit wor maybe a bit worse over on 22 but yeah but what we'll do now is we'll just head to get this coffee. Go grab a coffee and then we'll um, head through Devonshire pedestrian tunnel and then I'll show you out uh, towards the colonnade where they're building that new building.
Oh my gosh, painful. It's like literally you know, walking a straight line stop zigzagging would be a good idea too. Patience wears thin. Going to the left, just briefly, just so I can show you some more tiles. No, he's turning around, good. All right, this part here is still cordoned off. I think that is because they just, they just have some work stuff stored there. There's another room for staff just in there. Toilets. Spot for another sign that nobody will read. The Chalmers Street entrance, still in darkness. Hopefully once that Henderson building's demolished, they'll be able to get to um, assessing and repairing damage that's done so that they can actually get that entrance open because it was supposed to open the same day as the rest of Central Walk. So, yeah. Which was actually just... Um, the opening was actually meant only a couple of days after the fire, so not good timing. Not good timing at all. Yeah. See you all after I've acquired my coffee. Yeah, I've got the much needed coffee. Now I'm just heading through the Devonshire Street pedestrian tunnel um, out well, out to Railway Square, but I'll just quickly quickly show you all the um, site where this new building will be. Uh, nothing's been built yet, um, but all all surrounding buildings have actually been demolished. Um, all the buildings that need to be demolished have been demolished. So, so the Railway Square end of the tunnel. Uh, you may have remembered that there were a few stores here uh, around the point where the blue hoarding is, the blue wall. All of that has been completely demolished. There's um, pretty much nothing behind these walls. <clears throat> Alright, keep left. Let's see if someone wants to walk through the wrong way. Ah, you beautiful people, very good. <laughs> Trying to do an update a while ago and then everybody was coming in the wrong way. <clears throat> you can see there's absolutely nothing there. You can see the clock tower, it's all nice and purple and pink. Cross the road and head to the right, to that end of Railway Square, so I can show you um, this area. <laughs> Good timing. Wait for some of these cars to go, lights have just changed. The YHA, which you would have seen from Platform 1 at Central where those mock-up red wooden carriages were, all that's completely gone. All of it is completely gone. So there's supposed to be a new building there. Um, 
<laughs> made mostly of timber. <laughs> Don't ask why I'm laughing at that, I have absolutely no idea. I mean, if it's made mostly of timber, you'd need to keep fire extinguishers around, right? Because if that place went down, you could pretty well just vacuum it up. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's a beautiful uh, shade of purple. Anyway, that's all, that's all. I'm glad this building stayed. I thought this was going. I was going to say typical Sydney, destroying heritage. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed the video um, and me uh, ranting about my need for coffee. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up, all that jazz, and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.